everybody how are we doing i recently posted my amazon toddler baby must-haves and i promised you i was going to make one for us moms even if you're not a mom these are just great products that i repurchase over and over and over again from amazon i cannot live without they are my absolute favorites i think i have 15 plus items and they range from like beauty skincare to home decor kitchen pretty much just all the go-to essentials that make me really happy as an adult i never thought kitchen stuff would make me happy uh but it does before we hop right in i do want to give a big thank you to today's sponsor who is ibotta ibotta is a cash back shopping app that rewards you with every purchase it works both online and in store and you can shop via the app or they have a web browser, they have an added on extension, so they make everything really easy. They have all of my go-to places to shop, like Target, Walmart, and of course Amazon, and so much more. Ooh, and they also have Bye Bye Baby, you can get 2% cash back there, which is incredible. I also browse on what they have going on at Amazon deal-wise, and they have these Nokia pouches that I always get for Arrow, and they have a great deal of 25 cents cash back with every purchase and we go through like two a day honestly with those and they are expensive so i appreciate the cash back the app is also completely free to download and use there's no subscriptions for ios and android users i will have a link down below for you guys if you want to check it out i definitely recommend it and now let's hop into my amazon faves because we got a lot the first item i want to talk about is such a game changer item and i discovered this from another influencer her instagram is jacks Vish, vicious i'll link it down below as well as all these products that are my must-haves from amazon but i have been looking for a product like this and i didn't know it existed it is the ordinary glycolic acid seven percent toning solution and i do not use it on my face i use it on my armpits okay i had the issue of just armpit darkening and it's been getting worse postpartum after pregnancy all that jazz just skin gets darker do not use it on days you shave because it will burn a little bit she used it on a cotton swab i actually just throw it on my hands and make it really easy and put it on my armpits and it has lightened them up so much like it wasn't even so much that they were dark it was a weird green hue that my underarms had and this completely works if you have this issue and you would like to change it it's not too pricey either i i love this holy grail for the next item actually it was a tiktok recommendation i saw this video blowing up this is the kp and it's by first aid beauty bump eraser body scrub and what this does is it gets rid of razor burn which is something i struggle with because as you can probably tell i like to shave frequently it's just a personal preference i have been that way for a very long time my mom was a professional bodybuilder and so she shaved her entire body i've shaved my entire body since i was probably way too young to be doing it but it's just something I, I like being super smooth and like moist and hydrated it's really easy to use you just apply it to wet skin massage it on rinse it off and then follow up with a moisturizer and razor burn be gone for my next fave i actually have two different options because as someone who sometimes has long hair and sometimes has short hair i wanted to give you my favorites for either so if you have long hair these clips are so cute they're matte you can get them in like a set comes with like a pink one a tan one a green one and now I'm blinking on the other color this one also comes with different color options there's also a pink one that I don't know where it is but these are really cute trendy with the checkers I am using these now for my short hair this is a close-up of the big sized one I have had this one for over a year now and they're all still in great condition. This is like a newer buy for me because I just took my extensions out. For my next beauty fave, this is actually something I found in a Jaclyn Hill Amazon favorites video. I have very, very dry skin and so I'm always looking out 
for a moisturizer. I use a moisturizer multiple times a day. I always have, my mom has really dry skin. So I've tried a lot and this is the La Roche Pose. It's great. If you have dry skin and you don't want like an oily feeling, sometimes I do want an oily feeling. This is not that. This is just a very thick, like non-scented moisturizer. This next one is a newer obsession. I have been looking for a under eye cream for under eye <laughs> darkness for so long. I, you know, like most of us, I have been getting way less sleep than I have ever in my life. And I've never really dealt with dark circles until now. And this is the pharmacy cheer me up brightening vitamin C eye cream. And if you read the reviews on Amazon, everyone is like, this actually works. And that's what prompted me to get it. And I can agree this actually works. So if you have dark circles, I don't really have any puffiness. So that's something I look for, but under eye circles, obsessed. Guys, this next product I have been using for over a decade. Ever since I started, ooh, do I got a hair in my lip? I do. But yeah, ever since I started bleaching my hair 15 years ago, I have had trouble brushing it when wet. And this is the only product that allows me to do it. It also, if you get it up close to your root, it doesn't make it oily or greasy. It does have parabens in it. And I know that is something that steers people away from getting it. And so that's something you avoid. This is not gonna be the product for you. But if you have tingly, bleached hair, oily hair, fine hair, this is a game changer. I ever purchased it at least 40 times in the past decade. They have a few different versions of it. I just go with the original and it is my holy grail. Speaking of holy grail, this is actually called Holy Grail. It's also by the brand Pharmacy. Their brand I really like. We are almost out of this. I have repurchased this three times now. And again, like I said, I have very, very dry skin. And so this is the last step in my skincare routine. You can add this to your already normal skincare routine. It's a great just last step for those really dry months. Or if you're like me and you're always really dry, this has been a game changer. It's actually helped kind of clear my skin with my acne because I think one of my issues was my skin was just always so dry. The other side effect that is just absolutely incredible that I've noticed from this is it has made my eyelashes longer. Uh, it's not something I see other people talk about, but it was the main thing I changed that I noticed that my eyelashes just, I don't know, maybe they were dry and they needed some hydration to grow, but my eyelashes, have never looked better. I don't have anything crazy, no falsies. I don't use any lash serums, just this. So I'm just saying, makes your eyelashes grow, gets rid of your acne, and leaves you hydrated and glowy and dewy. If there is one thing about me, I love socks. It might be a weird thing to love, but I always have cold feet, and I really like the look of sneakers with a little bit of, or a good slouch sock showing. I It's very 80s and I think it's kind of trendy, I don't really know, but I'm obsessed, it's it's my jam. So I have found the two best sock options. These are the Hanes socks, I have repurchased these. These are soft, they are like the right height for like a little bit of slouch. They're cute with like Nike Air Force Ones, but if you want a little bit more slouch, a little bit more 80s slouch, there are these Hanes socks, they're, they're stained because I give them good use. Top portion is a little bit more thicker, so you can get a little bit more of like a true slouch. Might be weird to have favorite socks, but I actually do get DMs on what socks I wear because I wear a lot of slouch socks. These are my two go-to. I very quickly threw my hair up with one of those clips. I just, I don't know, this is just like my go-to hairstyle. But let's hop into my favorite home decor kitchen items that are my must must. The first one being this New Loom washable rug. If you have a dog, if you have a baby, if you are just messy yourself, a washable rug is where it's at. And I would say the number one place to get it other than New Loom would be ruggable, but they are a lot more expensive and they do come with a non-slip pad underneath 
at Ruggable, but my issue with that is if a dog makes an accident on the washable rug with the pad underneath, you can't wash the pad underneath, and it's also Velcro-y, so it can be kind of a nightmare. But there's no pad with the new loom rug, so if it's in a high traffic area where it could move around, you might want to go with the Ruggable. But in the nursery, I have the new loom rug, and let me tell you, it is so easy to just throw it in the wash. And I have a pretty good size one. I think I have the eight by 10, and I have no issue throwing it into a normal size washing machine. It doesn't go off kilter. If you live in an apartment like me that has very minimal storage, especially in the bathroom, I didn't even realize when I moved in, I didn't have a medicine cabinet. And so I found these acrylic floating shelves on Amazon. I have them set up in Arrow's bathroom and I just have all of her stuff set up. I'm gonna actually get new ones and put them in my bathroom too because I like having my basics on display and not everything all mixed up in one drawer. I recently finally redid my fridge, very home edit style and what the kind of go-to there is are these acrylic bins. I found these ones off Amazon. I just like having an organized fridge. It makes me really happy when I open it. Yes, it does add a little bit of extra thought process when you grocery shop and put everything away, but it does make everything look nice and it's easy to find. One place I love kitchen decor is Anthropology. And if you've looked at Anthropology, it is so expensive. Their stuff is so cute, but I found a very Anthropology-esque set from Amazon, so I thought I would share it. It is actually a set of four fruit baskets. They are porcelain, so they are breakable, but it is just so cute to wash your fruit, stick it in the fridge, have it on display. Maybe you're having a little house party get together and you wanna make a little sample platter, charcuterie board. These are so cute. I am obsessed whenever I show them, I get asked about them and they are Amazon. If you've seen any of my videos, my vlogs especially, you have seen this guy right here. It is an over the sink colander. And yes, I do use it to wash fruits, veggies. It makes it really easy. But what I ended up just using it for, when you have a toddler, you are going through so many snacks, so many drinks, so many meals, and I really just prefer to hand wash it right after use, let it air dry in here, because I know I'm gonna use it in a couple hours. So I don't do my final wash, throw it in the dishwasher until end of day, I just let everything sit in here. So it might not be like the most aesthetic thing, but it is the most practical thing, and it's not expensive, I think it's really cute. I have used this for over a year and I don't think I'll ever stop using it. This next item, when I tell you, is probably like my most used. No, I guess my skincare is the most used because I use it every day. But I almost use this every day. Can you guess what it is? It is a lighter. It looks a little scary, a little intimidating, but why I love it, one, it can bend. So I'm getting to those really deep candles and it's scary taking a regular lighter or even like a torch lighter and going in to light a candle. This has taken away that fear. The other thing I love with it is it's a charger. It, if you have the LV breast pump, it actually uses the same charger, but it's, it's a pretty universal charger. Highly recommend. I will never buy another lighter. But let's go into one of my favorite candles. It is expensive, but I love this brand so much. Uh, this one in particular, but I do have a couple other favorites. And so as you can see in here, it's like very deep and that lighter I was telling you about can get into here very, very easily. So this is the Volspa candle. They're one, just very pretty. I think depending on if you can get a deal or not, they range between like 25 and 40 on Amazon. They'll last you a good chunk of time. This I cannot pronounce. It's the Yashioka Gardenia. So this is a good floral one. They have one called like, it's not called Champagne Pop, but it's called something cha pink champagne. It's the pink one. I really like that. And then they make a black and gold one that I really, really love, but 
it's been pretty hard to find a Volspa candle that I don't really love the smell, so you really can't go wrong. That wraps up all of my must-haves. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like, thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like more of these or what you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye!